Hey yo everybody, XEI here. I'm not entirely sure how I survived the night of the last episode, but somehow I did. And I'm uh I'm pretty grateful for it. Anyways, welcome back. This is a let's play of Dig or Die, as you can see. It's um it's a challenge edition, as I've been saying. It's I call it the Minimalist Challenge. I'm trying to build as little the least amount of I always I always say little when I try to start the sentence, the least amount of things necessary to get to end game and so far I, I think it's gone way better than I could have predicted. I've created a flow chart to theorize the best steps to take for a speed run. Uh, so this is sort of, or it was until now, but you know, you start getting to a point where you have to, well damn, I've lost this again somehow. Okay, let's just go fix this. Whatever the problem is, it needs to get solved for right now. <laughs> Oh, I think I saw what some of the problems might have been. I need to clog some of these holes because even if the water gets this high, I might lose it. Yeah, I might lose it because it'll go out these edges here. So let's clog that up. Let's clog that up. Let's try to find some more on the way up. I've already lost my train of thought, what I was saying, but I need that bat to die. Come on. Come on, Larry. Just, just please. This is like beyond my need to take care of. Uh, okay, so... Let's keep checking the walls here. Yeah, minimalist, minimalist challenge is pretty much. I've had no bases or turrets. That's pretty pr probably the most significant part of this run so far. I think that's all I'm going to fix. I'm going to move on. I need a defense shield um, for the bugs down below. I went down there to finish off the next pieces I thought were necessary. Um, I do need to unblock this. I don't know why I clogged that up because I need the water to come back down this area. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did here, but anyways, there we go. And I think the water's still very bad here is what's going on. So let's just break, break this down, try to get some of that water back. Maybe I'll put one up here. And I will, uh, I need to see if I've like damaged something along the way. Here, I feel like there's a, there's a breach somewhere. But yeah, so I need to kill the Dweller Lord next because he, uh, his... The piece he drops is used for a defensive shield that seems to be good against particle attacks or particle weaponry, which is what those guys are named down below, particle flies, whatever the hell they're called. So I should probably get rid of, I don't know, I need this water to come back to, it's it's great, the great old days of water world need to come back ASAP. I need this as a defensive region for me to survive in. Uh, I feel like something happened, he, there it is. So that was probably in my bad when I was using grenade launchers wantonly. That was in my bad. That's too bad. Okay, so I need to get some of this cleared up here. Actually, I need, I need there, I need some of that water back. Actually, I, I can close this up because I'll never need to go in here again. Piranha, I don't have time for you right now. There we go. I'll double layer this thing. Thank you, Steve. And then I want to get rid of this stuff too. How about I... Oops, wrong thing. Why? Damn, that's what I'm th mean about weapons. So it's, oops, god damn it. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll build a layer, another layer down here. <laughs> damn it. Ah, uh, the dangers of rockets, folks. Let me tell ya. There we go. Okay, so the grenade launcher is pretty much this. So I'm trying to unclog this lake right here. I want all of this to flow to that side of the world and power our generator so I never lose that teleporter again because that just costs us all this time. I'm at midday which sort of sucks, but I do want to check the water levels at the volcano um, come on, man. to see if uh, the Dweller Lord can drown. That was one of the tests I was running on this side of the world. I've left it for three days, maybe? Oh, I've definitely done some damage over here when I went to clog that region up, so that's also on me. Uh, let me fix that right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in from the top door here, the top axis, and check the water levels. I'm gonna use a rocket launcher to keep things at bay. This is this is a helpful way for flooding this as fast as possible so you don't lose any water going down the hill here, which is also probably what's preventing our world from flooding as fast. I'm not using this oh, shit, there's red guy down here. Okay. Now I don't think I can really get hurt by these things anymore. I can heal faster than these guys can damage. I got some dwellers to deal with, and I got some hounds. They used to be the more the pestier part of this combat, of this fight. Okay, so the water levels are pretty sound right now. Are you gonna die yet or what? Uh, I don't think I wanna go down here with a rocket launcher because I don't actually know where the dweller lord is. I've never tried to drown him before. It's always just been a theory that I've wanted to play out. Um, I, I could probably kill him actually if I could set up, okay, see this is the part that gets super frustrating. 
No, they're actually, they are hurting me. So, well, Steve does a pretty good job alone there. Here's what I'm going to do, just in case. I don't know what I'm dealing with, but I'm going to build some platform here. Just so that I don't sink with this damn jetpack. Well, you know what? I wonder how this works in here. Oh, pretty damn good, actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to quick save. Because I don't hear the battle music, so the guy doesn't swim. I thought maybe he'd be up here, like he'd swim up to this point or something, you know? So now you can also see so your jetpack doesn't work in this region so well. So the idea is like I could do a fast fall into the center here. I just wanted to make sure there was water in here before I tried anything. Jesus. So it seems like there is. Now where this guy is at, I don't know, but there he is. Okay. Oh, he, sw he definitely swims. Okay, so I don't know if I want to be here. Uh, this is not the best place. How does this work against him, I wonder? Can I hide well enough up here so I can't get attacked by him, but I can hit him? So I used to work a thing where I go out from I go from beneath him and then hit him uh, until he dies. Because he basically tries to carve his path to you, but he can't because he's too fat. Um, and then you sort of... Oh, no. You definitely don't want to be landing on his ass. Uh, that's also not what I wanted. I'm not... I'm going to have to reload. I'm in the worst... I want to use that weapon. This is not a safe place to be, actually. Oh, yeah, I thought this would work in my favor, but it really isn't. And Steve's not really helping. The jetpack's not helping, as you can see. Okay, so let's let's try this a different way. I'm going to get some foundations here. Let's build some good platforms. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Just, just, I don't care. Just, come on, man. Just give yourself some sort of way <laughs> to deal with this. Okay, so now I'm going to go with plasma. Uh, I'm sorry, with overcharge, plasma, blah, blah, blah. Here, you know what? I don't care about you anymore. You're dead. So I'm going to provoke him. And I'm going to try this tactic out. There we go. That should be the attack music we need. I don't have healing potions, by the way, which is the worst part of this. Okay, you guys are still coming at me, huh? Hold on. Hold on. I still have faith. So based on the last experience, this, yeah, so he ends up stopping. Okay, but you don't want to get hit like that. So he'll stop there, the attack music stops, which it looks like enemies, he doesn't pull enemies when that music doesn't go on. So that might be, that might work in your favor actually. So this might be a pretty solid bet right here. This was an accidental strategy that just happens to be working and I don't have, I don't have a precision potion on, which, oops, I totally, I mean I literally ran into that attack. I don't have a precision potion, which is usually what you want against this guy so that you can double up and and uh, get get through this as fast as possible. Actually, shooting this gun allows me to get away pretty fast too, because it gives me a little. Oh God! Don't get stuck down here. This is not this is not the time for this. Okay, I didn't care if I hit him. I just didn't want to be down there. Okay, so let's. Is he dead yet? Are you dead? Oh wow! So he definitely died. I'm going to quick save before I wipe here, trying to get his piece. Now is this piece down here? Like where do I get his piece? So here's the volcano, there's the opening, you see it? So I, I feel like I need to get, I build a bomb here and blow this whole thing up is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't think this works, you see? So, oh, those are cracks, those are cracks. How about I don't do that right now? Okay, so maybe I don't need the explosive. I can just blow my way through with this thing. Well, we'll try that. I need those ants as well. But I need to think about how to get my ass out of here first. So let's do that. Because this this thing with the whole jetpack, okay, fine. Let's just turn the jetpack off. Let's do a little bit of a. I like. There we go. So this is a quick way to travel, too. You got a ton of dirt. You don't need it all. Just hold the button down and make yourself a tower of awesome right here. Excuse me, coming through bugs. Oh shit, that could have gone wrong for me though. Okay, so I need my jetpack back, please. Jet jetpack in the bar. There we go. Okay, so uh, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. I'm going to save again, so I don't have to do that again. And now I just gotta survive the night. And there we go. So I need a sapphire or whatever the hell. Uh, how's my? I, I better tone down and get my hit points back in action. I'm gonna try the storm gun on these uh, on these zappy guys because uh, they seem to work well enough on these guys, and if I can do it on the uh, the bomb butts, then maybe I can blow them up around the guys and that'll work against me. Oh, they're gonna break this whole thing down. Damn it. Maybe I don't wanna be here. I don't know. There's no way I'm gonna get to the teleporter in time at this point, so I should probably get ooh, some of that jetpack energy back. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I was. Oh, that's not. It's not horrible because it has a bit of a kickback too, right? So it's actually not that bad. This is bad if they blow this out, but screw it. You know what? I'll deal with it. Oh, friggin' kick that guy right up to me, man. No, don't do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. I said there we go. That's gonna hurt me. There we go. Okay, so maybe I, I hang out here a little bit. Let's see how bad this gets. Nope, it's bad. I can't really, with a rocket launcher, at least I can control. Ooh, blood, that's right. I need blood. Oh, shit. I need blood. These guys give the medium size blood. Shit. I need the uh, the good blood, though. I'm going way too high. There we go. I do need that blood, though, man. So bad. Oh, my God. I just friggin' charged that crap. Okay. Okay. I just got to destabilize them. Hopefully the lightning works in my favor, pushes them away instead of towards. The great thing with this is like you definitely have like you have the range of the entire board. So wherever you can aim, oh shit, you got oh fucking death from above there. So it's pretty good. Oh my god, I got the, the biggest nose itch right now. I'm gonna have to sink to scratch it. Oh god, I just kicked the guy towards me, didn't I? Yep. It's not that I just kind of did, is the world deep like am I losing water here? I think I am again. God damn it. Oh, those guys die with one shot at least. That's good to know. Okay, these guys do not die fast enough. Not fast enough. Okay, but I'm going to die fast enough though. If I don't get a move on here, I gotta keep moving. So that's the trick when you play like a challenge like this where you wanna just be on a run and have no base. The idea is you just gotta keep moving because you disorient the creatures that are following you. And if you push them, I've noticed this in a couple episodes, if you push them off screen like this, they will despawn. Like, you see that? I had a whole horde of them behind me. They're gone. They despawn. So, some of them will be there, but I, like you guys saw, right? There was a ton of crap behind me, right? So look at that. Gone. So, they have that berserker mode, and then they go away. So, just keep moving. Keep them behind you, and you'll do fine enough. So, there you go. There's another episode in the bag. I can... I have to go back down below now and finish off getting this piece right here the sapphire so that's gonna take a, uh, that's gonna be fun to find that's gonna be fun to find anyways until then hope you guys are enjoying the series i'm certainly enjoying this because it's actually not going as bad as i thought it would gonna it was gonna be it's actually pretty fun to be honest except for the fact that i'm on day 27 so i've i've spent seven days just trying to prepare myself to go down below in order to get the next pieces I need. I haven't even started the rocket because I can't. So it looks like the last half of the game is just harvesting those lower regions for, that sounded horrible, for the pieces you need. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire. I'll be back. Peace, everybody. Here we go. We're going to go this way a little bit. Just please kill him. Get him off my back. Thank you. Okay, there we go. We got, I think this is all we're going to need. 